Oh, hello. It is uh, Thursday. Thursday. It is, in fact, Thursday. You're here in the Juggalo Dungeon with me. My name is Shovel from Precious Juggalos. Uh, you're tuning in for live painting and chill with Precious Juggalos. Whoop whoop to JR. Whoop whoop! Welcome in, sir. Welcome to another day. <sighs> here we go. So, first off, what is the flavor of the day? Always the big question. Today we're going with a, whoa, whoa. a standard, a classic, an orange Fago. But today it'll be a little different because uh, my daughter failed to fill up the ice cube tray, so I don't have any ice. So we're just going to drink straight from the bottle like a savage today. Because, you know, how it is. How, that's how it be. Good hiss, good hiss. Always a good sign. So there's no, uh, there's no pour to watch today. You can just watch me pour it down my throat. How about that? Whoop whoop, y'all. <sighs> Man. That orange Fago is good. Good, good stuff. All right, JR. You and me, bud. Here we go. So, uh, new project day today. Oh, ooh la la. <laughs> Fancy pants. Uh, new project day today, so uh, I'm actually going to try to do two at the same time. Let me put them up on the desk here. I don't think either of them have actually been seen. I haven't showed them on my socials at all. Um... But here's the plan today. We've got a lovely little wall-hanging cherub with a wall hanger, so that's handy dandy. And then, look at that, my mom found another bottle holder. Ah, <sighs> people love them. <laughs> I, I actually was watching a uh, Trailer Park Boys video on uh, YouTube today. I guess they... Uh, they signed some Funko Pops and had them graded, and they're getting auctioned off for a fundraiser or something. I don't know. Looked cool. The video they made was funny. Uh, so yeah, so here's the plan today. We're going to go two for one. Try to get these both knocked out at the same time. It shouldn't be too hard, because uh, we're not doing anything crazy to uh, customize these. It's just face paints. We're going, we're going back to basics, y'all. Neither of these are commissioned. Neither of them are by special request. So we're just we're we're doing what we do. Juggalo face painting, y'all. So how do we start that? We start with their white face paint bases. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That orange Fago on my desk right there. Looks it. It looks it. I don't know how that happened. But I'll take another drink anyway. Mmm. Man, that's good. Alright, let me see if I can't clean this up. Or it's going to bother me out of the corner of my eye. Still not really sure how that happened, but whatever. Magic. It's like magnets. It's like magnets. Here we go. Whoop whoop. Let's paint. No great mysteries here. No big secrets of the trade. Just laying down white paint over this face. What's interesting is this uh, this sculpt on this face is very reminiscent of the uh, the chef that I painted and sold previously. It's really got the same expression on his face. With this big, wide open mouth and uh, big, chunky mustache. 
So it is a familiar face to me. See if I can't move it over so you can watch what I'm actually doing. Or not, whatever. Man, the air is thick down here. It's very humid. Uncomfortable. I don't like it. It has been raining quite a bit here in Kansas City, though. We had some wicked storms in the middle of the night last night. Very loud. Woke me up. Ultimately, this guy has a face like a Jim Henson character. Boy, it is another quiet day on the stream. I'm by myself right now. Have I done something? <laughs> Have I offended my entire fan base? Have I painted too many buttholes? Oh, you are here, huh? The count counts off. That's funny. I actually have it in two spots now, too. I have it in uh, OBS, but I also have a button on my uh, stream deck that is supposed to be straight from the YouTube like website itself and should be accurate, but uh, apparently not. So that's fun. Fun fact, I'm not alone. Good old JR. Okay, so there's coat number one for uh, the chef, or waiter, sommelier, whatever you want to call him. That guy. Uh, oh, right in front of the camera. Good thinking. Good thinking. Put him right there. Little, little over-the-shoulder POV cam of the, uh, the bottle holder. All right, you know what? I'm actually going to switch brushes. This one... It's got some bristles that are flying off in bad directions. I need a clean, 
clean, straight brush. No crazies. No crazies, please. All right. Well, that would maybe explain it, JR. Well, either way, I'm still here. I'm definitely here. Somebody else is here, too. Hey. My name is Shovel. I paint things. Today we're painting a chef, or not chef, we're painting a waiter bottle holder and a cherub wall hanger. Same time. Hmm. This thing soaks paint right up. Which is nice. Very nice. If the, uh, the, the silent creep in the background, if you happen to be Sting, or, or Res Reaper, or Mrs. Sting, or really anyone from the UK, big news, everyone. I've been doing some work behind the scenes, and I think I've got UK deliveries figured out. think. Basically just adding a flat fee in my store. Check out. And I've tried to keep it as affordable as possible. But obviously cover the costs at the same time. So if you're in Canada... There is a $20 shipping surcharge in my shop. If you're in the UK, there's a $25 shipping surcharge. If you're in any other country, uh, no thank you. It was very hard just to do those two, and I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, maybe, maybe further down the road, I'll think about further expansion if I've got enough people asking. But, uh... So far, nobody from anywhere else has asked. Several from the UK did ask, and a few from Canada did, so, uh, I'm making it happen, Captain. In fact, I dropped off my first delivery to Canada today at the post office. Felt nice. All right, I've got a little spot of paint I need to clean off this, uh... Oh, there's dust in the air. Ugh, that does not taste good. Yeah, let me just clean this little spot of paint off real quick. There we go. A little touch right there. And before you ask, is he going to paint the eyes? No, he is not. A lot of people disagree with that, but that's the way I do. Oh. 
You are straining your phone to the maximum. Yeah, I don't I don't like painting the eyes, JR. I think uh Because it, it's kind of the same same answer that I've I've given to a few other why don't you do it this way questions. Because at some point you have to make a decision where you're gonna stop. So if I paint the eyes, then well, why don't I go ahead and paint the wings or the hair or whatever? And if I'm going to do that, well, why don't I go ahead? Then you end up painting the whole thing. And that's not the point. The point is that it looks like the original piece with Juggalo face paint. To me, that's the whole thing. Keeping it simple. Keeping it subtle. Keeping it so that, again, from across the room, it just looks like something's a little off there. Grandma's got a cherub up on the wall, but the face... What is that? Is that... A violent J? And you get closer. Oh yeah. Violent J. As a cherub on grandma's wall. That's the funny. Anyway, whoop whoop. Uh let's take a Fago break, everyone. Boy, all that rain. Here locally, it is. musty in the dungeon. I can taste it. <coughs> Doesn't taste good. Alright, so there's coat number one on the cherub, coat number one on the uh, waiter, bottle holder thing, sommelier, whatever. Whatever you want to call him. Uh, moving on to coat number two. Coat number d. For my Canadian fans. Do it in French and English or something. I think it's... That's French. I don't know. Alright. Coat number two. Here we go. JR, I also thought about working on that, uh, that other Abe Lincoln bust I have that's right here next to me. Honestly, I just didn't feel like it. Like, I, I feel like I just did one, which I did. So, I think he's just going to sit on the desk for another week or so until I, you know, it feels right. Yeah. I mean, I'm at the point where I could easily push myself and uh, and make this not enjoyable for myself and doing the Abe Lincoln today would be doing that and uh that's not the point of me doing this at all I do this because it takes my mind off of things makes me laugh and then if I happen to make money off of it cool And if I don't, I don't. <laughs> because uh, until recently, man, I went months without having a sale. It was a little frustrating, but I didn't quit because it was still fun to me. For now, it doesn't seem like I'll have that same sales problem for quite a while, which is cool. One consequence of having sudden attention, though, is, uh, you know, everybody's got an opinion. So pretty much any time I post something... There's going to be one comment where it's like, well, you should have done it this way. Okay. But I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, and I'm not going to. I did it the shovel way. 
And I will remain true to myself. Even when I'm commissioned to do something, you know. I'll take, uh... I'll take the request as a guide from uh, whoever's commissioning the piece. But ultimately, it's still, still my vision. So, I'll do it my way. And that is where Frank Sinatra and I have a lot in common. That's where it starts and stops, though. Oh, I did finish Fallout last night, by the way. Hey! Mr. Harrison. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. JR? Mr. Harrison is another one that I know from the real world. Here, I'll give you one of these. Woo, woo! There you go. Uh, yeah. Don't mind while I get spit on my finger and uh, clean some paint off this. Not unlike my mom cleaning macaroni and cheese off my cheek as a child. There we go. Alright, so there's two coats on the uh, bottle holder sommelier waiter, feller. Back to the cherub for coat number two there. Jonathan, actually, I was just talking about, uh, uh, have you watched Fallout the series on, uh, Amazon Prime by chance? Being a guy that knows a few things about video games, I figured you might know something about Fallout. Can't remember if we've talked about that before or not. You have not. Uh, I just finished it last night. If Have you played a Fallout game by chance? If not, why not? Um, and if you have, then you'll, you'll enjoy the series. I think they did a smart thing and they didn't make the series about any characters from the game. They just made the series live in the same universe. So smart. Instead of uh, other adaptations where they force it and uh, people that are dogged fans will then be frustrated because the character they fell in love with is not nearly like the character that they fell in love with. Oh yeah, no spoilers, man. Fallout 4 is where it's at. That's, I've spent lots and lots of hours on Fallout 4. I love it. Hey, Liv, welcome back. Good to see ya. Woo, woo. You got one of those as well. Uh, no, it's not just PlayStation. It's, uh, it's cross-platform. But yeah, it's, it's great. The story in Fallout, plus just the world itself, and Adam. Woo! Man, it's a party all of a sudden. It was quiet for a while, now everybody's here. Yeah. Oh, Fallout 4 is... It's rad. You you can definitely fall into Fallout 4. Yeah, I want to play New Vegas. I, I haven't ever played it. I've heard that, you know, in, in terms of the fallouts, it's it's right up there with four. If you're ranking, if you're into that kind of thing. See, and that's just it. I don't try to. Like, uh, I just stick to the ones I really like. Like, I'm playing through Witcher 3 again, because it's, it's a great game. Uh, JR actually just started Red Dead Red Redemption 2 again, which I will probably do the same, because it's an amazing game. Is that how you do balloons? Two fingers? 
Did we finally figure that out? Holy cow. JR, that's a huge revelation. Let's try it over here. You, you move two fingers around and you get balloons. Oh, and it, it went upside down. Okay. We're learning things, folks. <laughs> JR, we finally figured it out. Two fingers. What What's three fingers? What does three fingers get you? Just move it around and try to see something. Anything? No, nothing. Okay. Four fingers. Is there magic? Five. I know this. Thumbs up. Come on. That's upside down. My my camera's upside down. We'll do it in the little one. Hey, it's a it's a thumbs up. Boop. Yeah. Finally. It it's been I don't even know how many streams JR and the balloon thing has been bothering me this entire time. I don't even remember Red Dead Redemption 2, I think, is how it happened. That's so weird. Anyway, video games are cool. <laughs> That's the point. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, Fallout's good. Witcher 3 is good. Red Dead Re Redemption 2 is good. Spilling my paint is good. Um, I actually quit playing Hell Let Loose. I retired. I officially retired from uh, the team that I played for competitively. And it's all because of these little guys. Just didn't have enough time. Actually, that being said, I haven't played a video game in weeks. I did. I watched that that Hot Ones. It was ridiculous. Uh, somebody, I don't know how Conan kept a like straight face. He was brutalizing himself with what he was putting into his body. I'm sure, after the fact, he suffered pretty pretty bad. Subnautica. That sounds so familiar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for about three quarters of it, until he got up to the bomb, I thought, wow, this guy really is, like, invulnerable to, uh, to hot stuff. Like, I thought, there's this magic superpower that has finally been revealed. Then he hit the bomb, and if you know anything, obviously nobody's walking away from that unscathed. And the wheels started to fall off the bit, the bus on that one, even though he tried to pretend like it didn't. Oh, it was it was terrible, terrible. It was so gross. Huh? I do like survival. I do, I do indeed. All right, we are two coats in on both of them. Let's switch again. Yeah. Well, and I, I, I love that he, uh, I mean, no spoilers, but he explained that he was just basically going for a viral moment. Like, he was going all out just because he wanted to have something for the kids to watch and talk about. The kids being us, apparently, because we're talking about it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was nice, um, because he... Conan O'Brien is a great interviewer, in my opinion. Um, always has been. Um, so for him to really uh, tell Sean how much he appreciated the effort that he put into it, which he always has. It, that's always... The the hot stuff is cool. It's, it's a nice uh, mechanism for conversation. But he's... Sean has always been really good at researching and having really, really good questions. He's He's right there with, like, Nardwar, as far as that goes, in my opinion. And if you if you haven't heard of Nardwar, then uh, look him up on YouTube. He's, he's a little weird and goofy and, I don't know, kind of acquired. It's kind of hard to watch an entire uh, interview with him because he's, I don't know, kind of intentionally off-putting. But he's really good with his research.
just you know for the sake of conversation the bomb actually comes from kansas city fun fact It used to be about half the sauces on Hot Ones came from that same supplier in Kansas City. Frankly, because there just weren't enough hot sauces on the market, I think. Now there are. Hot Ones has caused a sauce revolution. But yeah, I always love when uh, whoever the celebrity is, when they get to the bomb, uh, that's always a uh, a fun point in the interview because the bomb I've had it and it it really is. It's only designed for pain. It's not. It doesn't taste good. There's nothing redeeming to it. It is only heat. Angry, angry heat. Would not recommend. And it comes out angry, too. Right, yeah, it's not the hottest, but it's it, it hits different. Oh, Karen wants to see... <laughs> that sounds bad out of context, but with my camera upside down, let's see if we can do it this way. Maybe it'll go right side up. Is it going to work? Maybe it doesn't like it like that. Hey! Upside down balloons again! <laughs> and I'm, I'm not kidding. It's been about three months of that just randomly happening in my stream, never really understanding why, and now we know. It's two fingers. Oh yeah, the bomb is... It's, it's bad. It's real bad. I've had, uh, they make the bomb peanuts and they make the bomb salsas and stuff. They're all just intolerably hot. I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, sorry, Karen. Didn't mean to flip you off because, uh, your husband made me do it. <laughs> But now the next time you do it to, to your wife, you can just say, well, no, I was just trying to make the balloons show up. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, for a, uh, for a $5 super chat, I'll make balloons appear magically. I mean, I can make Jesus appear. Look, wait, Jonathan, you ready? He just checks in periodically just to see what's going on and he's gone but he's he's still just oh nope he's still going i didn't push the button right he just watches over my shoulder <laughs> that's been the uh, the jr button a couple times too JR has a knack for uh, for saying things that uh well even in context or you know rough All right. Coat number 3 Peace among worlds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. That's such a good episode. Alright. And that third coat didn't really uh, take care of the brush strokes like I wanted it to, but that's okay. Hey, Wiggles! 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, there there is a little a little magic lost. Now I have to figure out how to make my camera because it's inverted, how to make the balloons go bottom to top instead of the other way around. I'm sure there's a trick somewhere. But yeah, Wiggles, that's the big news of the day. We finally figured out how to make the balloons show up in my stream. All it takes is two fingers. And I think I have to jiggle them? I don't know. Oh, well, that did it in that camera now. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Wiggles, Jonathan is one of the few that I know in real life. The other one that joins in uh, is actually David Hyatt. And he's usually here every day, but he must be out on a call or something right now. All right, coat number three on the wall hanging cherub. Bada boom. Peace among worlds. <laughs> you got to make sure you use the uh, um, the ramp, though. Everybody gets real excited about an automatic automatic ramp. Is there a show this weekend, Wiggles? There we go. All right. I believe we are done with the white paint for both pieces. We've got 20 minutes left in the stream. I've seen crazier things happen. I might be able to knock these both out in today's episode. First, a word from our sponsor, a little Fago break. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now let's switch back to our bottle holding fella. Are you back on Fallout, JR? Is that what you're referring to? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I've, I've seen you chatting about that. Okay. Time for the black paint. Let me put the white away. Why does he spell it with capital R, capital U, capital... Or is it actually supposed to be lowercase r? Where it's alternating. <laughs> Thank you, JR. And that's when Jesus pays us a visit. Just just checking in. Just making sure everybody's aware. He's here. Right off camera. Oh, other way. Right over there. 
Just watching. It's got a big old air bubble in it. That'll be fun. Pop. Oh, you were talking about Rick and Morty. Are are there new episodes since uh they let um oh that paint's still wet. Was it Justin Roiland go? Oh, okay. I thought maybe he was doing the uh, alternating uh, uppercase, lowercase letter thing. You know, the, the cool middle school thing. <laughs> or the meme thing. Let's see if we can't get this dried off a little quicker. Or we'll just not paint around the mouth right now. The danger zone. What we can do is we can do a big round circle on the nose. I do like that these guys come with huge noses. I'm off camera, aren't I? Hang on, let me adjust some things here. There we go. How how has the season been without Justin? And I'm not like asking that in defense of Justin. It's it's just you know, he was a pretty uh strong force in the creative side of things for the show. An average juggalo. I don't know. I don't know what that would mean. And I, yeah, I don't, I don't know which, uh, which, um, hmm. That's a good question, Wiggles. Maybe you should ask them. I thought he did. I thought he did a lot of writing. Or maybe his writing would only come improvising in the uh, in the sound booth. See you, Jonathan. Thanks for stopping by one last time. Let's shoot some balloons. Does it have to be this direction? Try it over here. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Do I just hold them? Okay, yeah, apparently you just hold two fingers. Or not. Just when you think you have it all figured out, you look like an idiot. Alright, whatever. Thumbs up. How about that? Thumbs up. Boom. Thumbs up works. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for stopping by, Jonathan. I'll see you later. Um... Like, you mean like, uh, when you say lips, you mean like the 
portion of the lips that would be like wet. Because I, I kind of... There's kind of a fine line there, um, in my opinion, where like, you know, your your tongue and just the moisture of your mouth will kind of, uh, here, we'll do this. Like, so this part of my lip, like the front part, I would paint, but this part up here, there's no point in painting because it would just come off. So when I'm painting them, I, I try to... I try to basically paint like not like a super clean line because that's another thing if, if you look you really look at anybody's makeup when it comes to this it's kind of I don't know a weird natural line again it's just from where your moisture and friction kind of naturally take it away so like there's parts on here where I've kind of crept up a little bit into the mouth side of the lips. So I'll probably clean that off because it naturally would remove itself if it was painted that way. Uh, if it's totally closed, so like this one, it is mouth closed. Uh, and you see how, well, I guess it, it's a little open. Um... Hmm. I don't really have any painted ones down here. They're all... Well, shoot. Yeah, they're all pretty well sold. <laughs> uh. Man, yeah, I'm used to having, like, examples on my desk because, uh... Well, it was for months and months and months. Um. Trying to find... So, like, the precious moments, actually. Perfect. So, like, this one... When I do paint her, that little mouth right there, I paint right over it. Just totally gone. Um, because it's just, it's so small that to try to put that back, it would be so insubstantial that you wouldn't see it. So there, in my opinion, there's no reason to like put all that extra effort into it. Um, but if it's like a bigger mouth with like defined lips, then because this, this shows no lips. It just kind of shows a mouth slit. Um, but if there's lips, I try to paint it the same way I was talking about. But like if the mouth is closed, then the bulk of the, the areas of the lips that your tongue would touch or your spit would impact are kind of closed inside your mouth when your mouth is closed. So you can kind of just paint straight over the mouth to me, my opinion. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that helps or if that makes it worse. Uh, but yeah, it's it's totally case by case. Um, kind of just feel it when you're when you're painting it. The pieces speak. Wow, it is still wet up in there. I left a big old glob of white paint. That ain't cool. Right up in that corner of that mouth. On that note, Wiggles, uh, so this and a whole bunch of other things my mom brought me yesterday, two of which are dolls. Um, and I do plan on painting them, but I don't want to feel like I'm encroaching on your territory. Uh, so I probably won't stream them. You know, like, I'll probably paint them off camera. Um, but they'll be in my shop. Unless that bugs you. And then I have no problem with getting rid of them. Because they're actually free to her. She didn't pay for them. She works at an antique mall. And somebody... Um like, left their booth, like, like quit keeping a booth at the mall. And when they did, they just left a bunch of stuff behind. And so when that happens, my mom just kind of boxes that stuff up and saves it for me. Which is cool. 
I mean, still, I probably, I, w I probably won't stream them just because, you know. Yeah, but I, I will eventually paint them and sell them. They're real small, though. They're, they're like, I don't know, they're like six inch dolls. They're, but they have like, I don't know, crazy detailed dresses. But it's like most of the things I paint anymore. It's like the weirder the better. People love the weird. So I see those dolls and I think, God, that's kind of stupid. But uh, because of like the size and they're just weird. But people probably like them a lot. I guess. I don't know. Like I, I think the size you get is a lot better. Where they're like a, like a foot, you know. Yeah, the hair can be rough. Oh, nine brows. Yeah. Well, JR, I talked about banging out both of these today. Now I look at the clock now and I'm realizing I'm not even going to finish either of them. I might, I might paint on these off camera and just get them done. I need to get some stuff done. I need to get the uh, Care Bear thing done. Oh, the eyelashes. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that being a problem. Yeah, it's a lot easier to paint off camera, for sure. I mean, it's fun. It's fun to paint with the camera on. There's no doubt about that. But if you're really trying to, like, focus in and, and churn some things out, then it's really hard to do it on camera. I thought I'd be able to handle it, but I don't know. I en I enjoy conversation too much, I guess. And sometimes people show up like Jonathan that it's just cool to see him. He's a real nice guy. He's actually a, uh, like, he's into, like, D&D &D stuff, too. And video games, obviously. Or tabletop gaming, I guess, is not just D&D &D exclusive. He likes tabletop gaming. Yeah, and I've noticed you've been using um, 
other people to like tag team into your stream and basically like report the chat to you, like read the chat to you. And I'm I could definitely see that being like helpful. So yeah, ultimately like trying to keep an eye on the chat. Um can kind of be distracting. Shoot, those don't match now. Oh man. This is where I do the thing where I go back and forth and back and forth trying to get everything symmetrical. It just keeps getting thicker and thicker. Pretty sure uh, that's a pretty good candidate for that's what she said. Good, I think that white finally dried in the corner of his mouth. Right, yeah. Yeah, and I still I I troll your streams more often than than you know. Um I'm just I don't know. I'm usually like trying to do other crap. But I'm there. <laughs> I'll give you a thumbs up. Yeah, I don't think OSB has the, uh, that ability. Man, a three-way would be insane. Oh, actually, you know what? I say that. Um, I was, I was watching one the other day, and it was a three-way. Uh, and it was actually super cool. It was these, uh, these three different dudes that, uh, were in three different places, um, but they all had their own studio spaces. And all three of them were working on the same Mandalorian model at the same time. And, like, each of them had, like, their own, like, specialties when it came to model building. And so, um, they would, like, they would tag team. And it would be like, okay, well, we want to add some, uh, some depth to this piece of armor. So we're going to do a wash, and I think it needs to be this wash. And so then all three of them would follow the one, the one guy's, like, guidance, and then... They would finish that step and it would go to the another guy would be like, okay, now that that's done, let's move on to, you know, this pauldron or whatever. And it was, it was super cool. It was, it was weird, but it, it was cool. So, and it looked like they were an OSB, but I don't know. It's another thing I need to look up. I also need to, JR and I have like, uh, looked into, uh, doing a dual stream where I'm streaming both to YouTube and Facebook at the same time, since I have uh, way more followers on Facebook and it would hopefully help my numbers with streaming. Um, but I, I, I just haven't sat down and actually done it. Um, yeah. I finally sat down and figured out international shipping. That's... That took a lot of brain power. Now I'm still nervous about it. I've got one that I sent out today headed to Canada. And actually, the uh, tracking number I have posted to the map up there so I can um, pay attention to it. Like, it's crazy. Really? Man, Wiggles. You know how to build numbers, man. Yeah, I yeah. And I I looked I looked further into it this i can't remember the name of the second one but it it did seem like to fit everything i needed you know and it was free 
Um, so yeah, I need to just sit down, da sit down, and put it together. The only thing that looked awkward about it is I would have to go like onto a web browser into Facebook and hit go live, and then come back into OSB and hit go live again, so it would go to YouTube since it, it's. OS, the OSB itself can only push to one. The other app is basically like a uh, um, splitter, I guess. Um, so, so yeah, anyway. Oh, I don't remember doing a thumbs up. I don't know. Whatever. I'm, maybe this guy did. But yeah, I, I do. I need to just sit down and make it happen. Hey, it's uh, 5.31 already. Uh, Wiggles did drop a link in the chat there. If anybody... There is somebody else here with us. If you're into Juggalo culture or looking for a tribe to join online, click on that link. It'll take you to a Discord server full of Folks Dang it. that are uh, just good people in general. And uh, we talk about all kinds of different topics and fun things. Yeah, if you're looking if you're looking for a nice spot to meet nice people, check out that link to that server. You don't have to be a juggalo, but uh, that server is predominantly about Juggalo-centric things. Um, oh, it was easy for you? Well, shoot. See, so this is the way I am, JR. Uh, my anxiety makes everything seem very, very difficult in my brain until I actually do it. And then once I do it one time, then it's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's easy. Um, so it's just, it's cracking the nut. The one time that I, I actually sit down and make this happen, then it won't be a big deal. But in my brain right now, it's just like, oh, it's such a, oh, such a hard task. Um, and I hate that I'm, you know, engineered that way, but that's, that's me knowing myself. But I will make it happen. 100% will make it happen. Alright, boys. Uh, let me do this last touch of paint here. And then call it a day. Um, and then I'll probably take the stuff upstairs in my theater and work on it up there under the comfort of my giant television. <laughs> Which is where I used to paint all my things before I started um, working down here in the dungeon. So it's my uh, painting studio uh, 1.0. This would be 2.0. But yeah, anyway. Uh, big thank you to, uh, to JR and Jonathan and Adam and Liv uh, and Wiggles and seems like there was somebody else. Um, I said David. Really feels like there's somebody else here. Or Adam, not David. That's right. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Adam, to uh, Jonathan, Jr. Wiggles, um, and Live Style Rewind. All of y'all for being here. Um, really? Okay. Well, then maybe I need to look into it further because I, I 
I think I watched a YouTube video on the app, and they were sh they were showing it that that was how they had to do it. But I, I don't know. Um, it also could have been a really old video, and there's been a patch since then. Um, also, it just created a good excuse in my mind. So call it what it is. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll look into it for sure. Um, if you dig what I do. Hit the like button on this video that would be appreciated uh also subscribe i am uh i have 479 subscribers really want to break that 500 number so um if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i promise i will not inundate you with uh, notifications and whatnot um i don't i i don't really go crazy when it comes to going live too often or anything or releasing videos for that matter um so yeah promise i won't bug you but uh yeah if you want to check out my shop i still do have some things in there not a ton but some there are still some uh actual precious juggalos in there there's a couple of them um precious moments juggalos that i've painted um and there's still one uh, Beethoven left, which is shocking to me, because uh, it is only $25, um, and that includes shipping. Um, so yeah, if you dig this, you can, you can get one that would look great on your mantle or your uh, bookshelf or next to your TV or whatever. $25. Bucks. Um also check me out here obviously on youtube i'm also on facebook instagram tiktok and all the things everywhere on precious juggalos um yeah i yeah i don't know wrapping up thank you all for being here love you all wisdom of the day um uh make sure you have ice uh especially if you're planning on having a nice tall icy drink of something Make sure you have ice, because it could be frustrating when you find out you don't. <laughs> also, two fingers gives you balloons. If you do it just right. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. hey -o, balloons. And that's it. Love y'all. <clears throat> Little burp to say goodbye. And bye.